What's going on guys? We are back again with Moon Knight, another episode review. Now this is going to be really interesting because not only did we get to see more of these characters and more crazy, I, I don't know, I don't even know where to begin because the only, the one that, there was cool stuff in here but it was also kind of boring to a certain degree because again, Moon Knight is getting a lot of mixed reviews and I know I'm one of them. I really say, oh, it's cool. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. But the entirety of this episode is you see Mark slash Steven in Cairo trying to get information of where Amnet's tune is and we see where even Layla goes to Cairo to try to find Mark and what's really interesting is something tells me that there was a lot of things that we were going to be finding out in this because I think honestly that they're going to be showing more gods in the uh, other movies, you know, like Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, because what I, I don't know because. We see where Kanshu, he has no choice but to try to summon the other gods to appeal, to get an appeal done for what Arthur is doing. And he comes across clean, even though uh, Kanshu comes across like, hey, you know, you need to do this, hey, you need to do that. And what's really sad about this is that they had, well, what was cool is we got to see this in the Pyramid of Giza, and that was absolutely gorgeous. I will say there was a lot of gorgeous shots in this because, again, I love ancient Egyptian culture. I love ancient Egypt. Anything that has to do with ancient Egypt, I love. It is very beautiful. It is also poetic in a way. And I will say that the entirety of this episode really had me kind of like, damn, man, because we got to see, we got to meet different gods. You know, I believe it was Horus um, and a bunch of others. Now there was some that wasn't, but they also did say that uh, Kashi even says that if something goes wrong, then more than likely he's going to be in prison again, which unfortunately he does because after he tries to do the appeal and Arthur shows up and is somehow able to sway the gods and inform them that Mark is unwell due to him having split personalities as well as I think there's something else going on in Mark because when he was trying to get these kids to talk and they weren't and they were not going to talk, we did see where someone was killing them and don't know if it was Mark or Steven. Steven said it wasn't him. Mark even said it wasn't him. So who exactly was it? I don't think it was Kanshu. I think it was somebody else. And we got to see where Kanshu actually is trying to appeal to the gods and even one of the gods tries to help him and Mark and he's and she says go find the tomb of one of the magi that knew where immense temp uh tomb was now layla finds him tells mark hey i can get you in to this guy i know that apparently has the tomb and when they do things go bad and when this happens we see where he has no choice but to summon the suit try to help uh steven help him by trying to use his smarts for ancient egyptian mythology and everything he knows and we also see throughout the episode where arthur is just coming out clean man he no matter what anyone does nothing's working on him he's like 10 steps ahead and he even shows the dealer that layla was so-called friends with the power that he can have as well as the power he holds and when this happens we see where he's able to manipulate him and then Layla and Mark are able to get away but there's some also stuff that may be uh kind of lingering because we may see that Mark possibly killed Layla's father don't know exactly if that's true or not that's kind of I would feel what they're lingering to because it is mentioned that there's something that Mark is hiding from her uh, I guess I'm assuming about her father I don't know how true that is but it's very interesting how Arthur is just coming up clean every time turn around. Even at the very end of the episode where they're trying to figure out the star's location within the show to try to see where Amnet's tomb is because that's the only way they're going to be able to do it. Kanshu says, I remember that night. I remember every night. And he even tells Stephen because Stephen has to switch places with Mark due to he's able to know about this information. And what's very interesting is that he... Is asking help from Kanshu, and Kanshu even says, Hey, I'm gonna need help with this. So he's like, Okay, but the only problem is, he says, I do this. He says, Tell Mark to release me, tell him to find me and release me. Because he does get imprisoned by the other gods while this is going on when they're finally able to get the location, and Steven loses his power while he's trying to help him. Now, what I think is gonna happen because he does get 
in prison. We see where, because uh, most of this episode, like, Kashi's just chilling, man. I mean, he's just chilling. He's being a smart ass. He's being, you know, like, just out of the control of God. It was really kind of interesting. But I will say, with him actually trying to do the right thing here, and he ended up getting screwed. And as soon as he got in prison, we see where Arthur comes, and the guys just keep keep showing him everything, man. It's like, dude, why are you showing him everything? Yeah, he was a former vessel, but at the same time, you're being a little too lenient to this guy. I mean, why are you basically kissing this guy's ass? Like, I just don't understand why the gods are being so lenient towards him. I don't understand. I mean, because he's basically playing them, and no one seems to understand the why and the reason why the gods do not like Kanshu at all is because he was meddling into human affairs and that's the thing that these gods absolutely despise is because he was meddling into affairs of humans and the humans he, the gods did not want to interfere with any kind of affairs from humanity because they said if they're not going to pray to us, if they're not going to do, I guess, be loyal to us, then we don't need to do nothing for them. Now, even though that Mark was showing the vessel to the gods, like he was being the voice of reason because Kashi was using his body to voice what he thought was going on and try to appeal to them, like, hey, this is what's going on. It didn't work. And that really sucks, man, because you really try to show, like, hey, you know, this is what's going on, and it doesn't doesn't work. And now that he's been in prison, we even have where Arthur even confesses that, hey, you know, I actually enjoyed being your vessel because he enjoyed the pain that he gave on to others, and he feels like that he has finally found atonement because of that, and then that's how the episode ends. So, again, this episode was kind of back and forth there was saying we did get to see a cool fight scene with mark trying to handle all the black the black uh black dealers or, or, the, or the black market dealers and then also we got to see some other craziness from the tombs and the gods that was cool even get to see where steven and kashi were trying to turn back the stars and everybody's seen it and that's one of the main things that the reason why he was banished is because he gave too much or he revealed so much to where humanity could know about their existence when they don't want humanity to know their existence so that's kind of interesting and now that we're going more into the gods, it kind of makes you wonder how more are they going to go into the gods when we're going to be seeing, you know, the Norse gods and, you know, the ones from Wakanda and now, you know, the Egyptian gods and all these other ones. It's going to be really interesting to see how many more gods that they are wanting to put into the fold of the MCU. Because, again, there are tons of gods in the MCU. I cannot name all of them. But, again, I've, I've seen a few in the comics. I've heard of a few. But I will say it's been very interesting to see other gods in the MCU. But at the same time, I do see the reasons why people are not particularly caring for Moon Knight and why some are. Some don't like the, you know, the little bit of a pace where it needs to speed up or it needs to be worked on. Honestly, I think th there's too much of a slow pace and then it picks up for like, I would say in, in, in my mind, almost like five seconds and then it's just like, oh, well, hey, here we go. And then it goes right back to that slow pace. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't particularly care for that so much because it just doesn't work on some shows. And again, I'm not saying Moon Knight is a bad show, but it does need to be uh, improved if it's wanting to survive and possibly go on to another season or be involved into a movie as such or have Moon Knight introduced into the MCU movies. I mean, who knows? I mean, there's so much that Marvel can do with Moon Knight now that has been in now officially in the franchise in the MCU. I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see. But guys, that is my review for episode three. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it okay? Does it need to improve? Does it need to be canceled? Does it need to keep going to try to see if it can improve? What do you guys think? Please let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.